What? Get a fucking hat and a job, <laughs> you bum. He doesn't even have a bubble. He doesn't even have a fucking bubble. Well, fuck. Rihanna. She's got the voice. She did a song with Calvin Harris, no less. She's... She's a pop queen, what can I say, you know? New album, it's called Anti, if you're American, or Anti, if you're no. on this side in, of in the pond. In all caps, because that's now cool to write everything in all caps. Yeah, all caps when you spell the name, you know? Okay, okay, first of all, stop reading my notes. Second of all, I wasn't expecting this. No, it was quite surprising. I wasn't expecting this at all. What a surprise, a shock. A pleasant shock, no less. The first song was pretty, pretty, when it came in, I was like, what? This was not what I was expecting. It's really, a lot of this album is really minimal and lo-fi. Yes. In a way that I did not at all expect, and in quite yeah. a nice way on a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, like, she's a, she's a huge pop queen. I, I was expecting, like, it to be a fucking hit factory kind of thing, you know? Yeah. I was expecting, like, expecting everything to be the fucking single, but I was expecting, like, loads of radio-friendly, mm. like, very safe, very poppy. But I was hearing... An artist, not a pop machine, in this album. And to be honest, going in there, you guys will back me up on this. I wasn't expecting this album to be like amazing. We almost didn't do it because he was so against it. Yeah. I was like, it's gonna be good, but is it gonna be like that interesting? And you know what? I'm so glad we did it because mm. first track, um, considerations, feet. S Z A. I think it's it's one of the best tracks on here, definitely. Yeah, that's so it's really heavy, lo-fi beat. Dude, yeah. And it's short and simple and sweet. It doesn't overset its welcome. Bass and bit crushed beat and just her voice. Her uh, voice was crazy as well. Kind yeah. of went all over the place. Yeah, it was like very ba ba ba. She's like, a good singer. <laughs> ba ba ba. <laughs> ba 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 ba. This is kids' music, like an old retro drum machine <laughs> and like a bass synth. Then <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. But um, yeah, this this track was fucking insane. And the interesting thing, it goes straight to the next track, James Joint, which mm. was like weird again because this time. There was no drum beat, and it was just, mm -hmm. like, jazzy, like, keys. That kind when of it sounded. came in, I was like, oh, God, a weird song, yeah. That's interesting, original. Good job, Rihanna. Really, really playing it up there. But then I was sort of, I was just like, these keys are nice, though. Really Eric, nice. This, this <laughs> album sounded just beautifully And produced. it was real Start short as well. It didn't, being, like, just a stupid weird song, it didn't, like, annoy me too much because it's, like, a minute long. A minute 12. Yeah, it's so short, and it's just, yeah. like... It did, didn't overstate with Welcome. And I think some of the songs on here get that so right, especially the first two tracks where, and there's a one later on I really like that's just short and sweet and they do what they need to do and then they leave. Yeah, like, it, it's I, I, it's like more of an interlude, really. I mm. describe it as a pretty little ditty. Yeah. But <laughs> in some of these what? songs... A pretty little ditty. Okay. In some of these songs, especially right. the third song is the first one which does this for me, I feel like she's doing the interesting thing. She's taking these sort of lo-fi interesting beats, but she's not sort of not doing that much with them. Some of them run a bit long. When she does do the go into like three, four minute longer songs, some of them just sit there and do nothing, like don't change throughout yeah. the whole song. And then the fact that they're really minimal starts to drag and you're like, I, I really, really love the production of this album. Like a lot. It's good sound. It's never, it never is a bad sound, but sometimes it's just not like structured well or not written well. In I felt as though when it got to the third track, I kind of started to feel like that was, so the, the I started to feel. <laughs> it's very to deep. Feel. It was so numb until then. Because the first first two tracks are like less than three minutes, both of them. Yeah. And then you get your first like full track, mm. and I felt as though it was kind of getting like, oh, and this is where it gets poppy. But it kind of like backed off. It, it and had, didn't go too poppy. It had those sort of big like sort of typical trying too hard guitar <clears throat> sounds. No, no, like no. A, the like guitar things. was like a throwback. It was more of like it's a like, gimmick. Yeah, it's like not quite heavy enough to be anything interesting in that way. But it's like just heavy enough to go Ooh, edgy, and it's just like I it's was like, like a lead guitar from a Michael Jackson song. Yeah, it, it was like that big kind of '80s metal guitar, all like big hair and tight trousers. Yeah. Mm. from that era, it's obviously meant to just be like sound like that yeah. style. And the like synth it. was quite like that sort of era as well. Mm. And I, I thought this was one of the weak points. Like, I know this sounded like it was trying to be like a '90s kind of R&B track. I wasn't like a massive fan of it. To yeah. be honest, I, I, I wasn't a massive boring. fan of the Drake track. Mm. You know what? 
I wasn't a massive fan of the Drake track until Drake came in. Yeah, yes. Drake was the best thing about that track by far. But the the, the like, it kind of works though. After the he instrumentation came in, on that kind of... is really held back in a way that didn't at all work for Rihanna. And even yeah, for did Drake, you not was feel as though like as soon as the track started and as soon as she started singing, you were like. This is meant to be like a Drake song. Yeah, it, and it then Drake, come, like, before I even saw that it mm. featured Drake, I was like, this would work better with Drake in it, because yeah. she's, like, doing his style, mm. and, and it was weird. And, like, when, and then he came in. When like, she's oh, okay. on the good beats in here where it works for her, they're all big. <clears throat> and that was just so held back. Like, the bass was really small and wasn't that heavy at any point. The drums were quite thin. It had a quite sort of dark vibe, which is really Drake, but mm. just, just didn't fit her. There was actually quite much. a lot of darkness in this yeah in man this, uh, album. the album I was fucking loving it yeah it's definitely taken quite a lot of influence from that sort of OVO sound thing that's going on with like Drake and all those sort of I wasn't a ma- massive fan of 6 through 8 though tracks Woo Needed Me and Yeah I Said It none okay, of them okay. really stood out to I, me I'm, I, I totally agree with you there I, that was the most, weakest for the, the album part. for me I don't know I thought Woo was fucking incredible really? I thought it was so brave as well for like a pop act to go for that kind of like, I, I, there was I, dissonance from a Rihanna track. But this is this is how I wrote it. I thought Wu was really lo-fi and it had that mm. sort of interesting dissonance, but I don't think it was used to any real effect. I, I thought as though it started like pretty good. Yeah. And but it kind of kept doing they that. They didn't for do a anything full, yeah. four minutes. They had the idea and they went, <clears throat> got an interesting yeah. idea here, and then they didn't do anything with it. They kind of just left it there. And I, it I, wrote I down, disagree. I wrote down it that it mad. doesn't go anywhere and I don't like its current location. Yeah. I th- I think that fits it for me as well. Like Scunthorpe. I thought need, needed me, <laughs> Harsh, needed me. I really Sorry, liked Scunthorpe. the sort of ghostly vocal effect it had going on there throughout there. Mm. But I love this I kind of like clashing, anything. sharp kind of chords, overlaying big, big bass, and vocals used more as like an instrument, like uh, with autotune, with like their sort of young th- style yeah. effects on it. I thought, yeah, I said it was all right as well, but I didn't think it was anything great. I just thought that was sort of decent. I yeah, I, so. I just thought it was kind of the same kind of. It didn't. Mm. It didn't really stand out as anything. I don't think this was the weakest point of the ballad, though. Uh, or the, the album, though. Ooh, ballad. I think is that, is, that, uh, <laughs> is there something coming up here? Spoilers. Maybe. Spoilers. Spoilers. But the the, <laughs> the next bit is the bit that really took me. Same old mistake. Tame Impala cover. Yeah, because it turned on. I was like. This is sick. And I was like, I really <laughs> recognise this. Yeah. I really recognise this. <laughs> and then That's I, exactly you know what, what I, I did it the wrong way around. I looked it up on her album first and I went, oh, of course. It was written and produced by Kevin Parker. <laughs> of course it, is, it sounds familiar. It's his style. And then I like was like, like, was like but I really recognise it. I looked into it a bit more. I was like, Oh, it's a cover of a Tame Impala yeah. song, and they've just he's, she's just shortened the name. Yeah, from the album that and came it's out last really year. Really good. Currents. It's a really impressive. Which cover you should of check song. out our review of, by mm. the way. It's a, I was so confused. I was just doing that baseline. It sounds like it came right off of Currents. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was so. It was and a then real good I started fucking though. hearing like I swear there are Kevin Parker fucking uh like backing vocals. Yeah, I was like oh, I'm even I, hearing I, I him think, singing. I think in they this. did like just get a bit yeah. Of listen to it again. You'll hear his back because he's got a load like, of credits on there. Like he has production credits on it, and I, he didn't work on it. But I think they gave it to him because they used like bits of the original sort of thing. Mm. Interesting. I also did look up, and apparently he he was like, "I love it. I approve of it so much." Dude, that's like, it was awesome. fucking sick. It was a really, it was a really good version of it. Oh, yeah, I actually, I actually really rated the. Yeah, movie. I was like, "This is like the best song on the album," like which makes sense because yeah. it's it's a song from a better album. But Her voice is so really close good. to his as well. At some points, it's like, hmm. yeah, Kevin Parker yeah, sounds a lot like she a girl. did it justice. Definitely, yeah. But really what she didn't do was change it up so much. It's not like she took yeah. the original version, made it her own. Mm. She just kind of did... She just did a good version of a, the original. A good, good cover version, mm, really. Mm, 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 the next mm. bit is where I feel it gets weak. The next few songs... The generic acoustic track. Yes. Yeah. These songs Never are where it ending. Gets pretty boring. Because it has the same problem that some of the electronic tracks have, where it doesn't really go anywhere, and the instrumental's kind of repetitive, <laughs> except it doesn't have the upside that the instrumental is at least interesting and big. Mm. The instrumental has become sort of just an instrument in it. I, I, I disagree. I really liked the acoustic number. I was, because I was going in there with like a harsh, harsh feeling. I went, never ending. I'm betting when I get to that track, I'll have the same feeling that this album is never ending, but no, I really fucking enjoyed it. It was great. I, I thought it was just like an okay acoustic track. Yeah. I, I, I expected it's a pop album, you're going to get a kind of acoustic guitar only kind of track. Yep. And it happened, and I was like, it wasn't bad, it wasn't great, it was just an acoustic yeah. pop track. Um, but the next ones were different. They were kind of more ballady. Yeah. 
the, um, yeah, I, I really love that. I, I quite enjoyed Love on the Brain. So did I. Just I like, thought the vocals were really good, and I thought the instrumentation was pretty nice. I think it was an amazing track. I loved like it just went like it's like you get thrown right back in time. It's like that song starts like this really like wonderful emulative kind of soul song, and the uh, vocals are just like delicate and mm. like vulnerable and. They were all well done this little section, but they just weren't <laughs> as interesting to me. And uh, as I was surprised at some of the other bits of how much I liked some of the other interesting stuff, I was like, this went back to where I was like, okay, now they're putting in sort of the more radio friendly tracks. So For me, the next really two big. though, the final two, the closers. Good night, Gotham. As well. I think that one's super interesting. And it's another one that's only 1 minute 25. Have you done Do you deluxe? listen to the deluxe version, didn't you, mate? Is it? Yeah, well done. Well, it was <laughs> fucking good. Okay. <laughs> it was really good. Well, uh, close to you, the <laughs> final track on the album, oh, non-deluxe, yeah. was a uh, piano ballad. And I, yeah, I, 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 I just thought it was a piano ballad. Oh, piano reefs. Piano reefs. So I was like, after the sad thing is, after that, I thought it got better when it got to the deluxe stuff. <laughs> when it got to the <laughs> yeah. bonus content. Good night, Gotham, and uh, I, I, th- I think it, it's either Pose or Posse. I don't know what it's meant to be. It's an it ask. How's it spelled? <laughs> P O S E. Then it'll be Pose. Okay. Um, Posse is two S's. Okay. Facts. Spelling spelling tracks here <laughs> from, from James with no second name. Uh, they were they were both really awesome songs. I thought they were pretty interesting. Fair, fair. The I, last song on the thing was a generic trap, and it was pretty boring. But those mm. two songs were good. The good night Ooh, Gotham ooh was actually, actually now that you've said that, now that you've said that, throughout the entire album, I expected mm. some sort of trap yeah. song, and there wasn't one. Yeah. Except for in the on the bonus, bonus, there is one. There's one boring generic trap, and there was one pretty cool, quite track inspired one, which was kind of interesting and pretty good. Uh, which was Pose, but yeah, the the last song was a generic track song. But I love the last two, the proper. Last two. last two, and I, I just felt like it was like the the end of a day, like kind of drunk in like a hotel <laughs> bar somewhere, singing like sad songs to each other on a piano, and it it touched me. <laughs> Except that she's actually drunk in a limousine on the way back to her mansion. She's got money. Her mansion, <laughs> you, know, you know, beef or whatever. Yeah. It hasn't changed her though. <laughs> she's still rocking I, it. I think it has. No. I know, right? <laughs> Controversial money changes people. When people become famous, they don't always stay the same. She's the same. So the the, the interesting thing now as well is I'm going to have to just say, in my favourite track list, I did have Goodnight Gotham, which now okay. isn't in okay. here because it was an interesting, sort of mostly instrumental kind of cool thing. But my favourite songs apart from that would be Same Old Mistakes, mm-hmm. obviously, and then Consideration and Needed Me. Okay. Yeah, mine would be Same Old Mistakes. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it's the other song. Um, Doesn't she say, like, yeah, I said it, it's the name of the title or something? It's like the yeah, title of the track. Right. She a, references it as the title. What a lyric. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't It's rate at least meta. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably go um, for. I don't know. I'm going to stick with those two for now. Okay. Yeah, yep. I'm yep. going to go Consideration, Desperado. Same old Sponsor mistakes. much. That's the one first thing I wrote when I was like, I was like, sponsor much. And the first thing she says in that song is, Desperado. <laughs> I was just like, this is going to be a club. I, I thought gonna it was going to be a really bad dumb. cover of the Eagles song, but luckily it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> luckily it wasn't. So he thought it was going to be an advert for a dodgy <laughs> it, it, tequila it, it beer. It was an advert for a dodgy tequila beer. It was. Was it? Yeah. Holy shit. Anyway, so <laughs> let, me, let me say again. Consideration, Desperado, uh, Same Old Mistakes, and Love on the Brain. I thought they were my favourite tracks. Sweet. Out of 10, Gareth. I was between two scores on this. So was I. I think I'm going to go with seven. Okay. Okay. James, your boy? I'm going to go with a six. Six, six. I'm going to go with a strong seven. That's really cool. fucking love this album. Interesting. It's really? funny because we were the ones who wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Really fucking loved it. What do you guys think of this? You know, you guys need to start tweeting at us more often because we're getting lonely here at the Sonic Squeeze. So yeah, tweet us. Let us know what you think of this album. Leave a comment. Like the video. Survive. You know, I'll uh, I'll catch you next time. Yeah. If you can live until our next video, that would (laughs) help us. Yeah. Like, comment. It will be out in 24 hours from the release of this. From the time you see this, yeah. (laughs) That sounds like sinister for some reason. (laughs) <laughs> we are telling our audience we want them to survive for at least 24 <laughs> hours so they can watch our next video. That's pretty sinister. Catch you later.
way that I did not at all expect, and in quite yeah. a nice way on a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, like she's a, she's a huge pop queen. I, I was expecting like it to be a fucking hit factory kind of thing, you know? Yeah. I was expecting like expecting everything to be the fucking single, but I was expecting like loads of radio friendly, mm. like very safe, very poppy. But I was hearing an artist, not a pop machine, in this album. And to be honest, going in there, you guys will back me up on this. I wasn't expecting this album to be like amazing. We almost didn't do it because he was so against it. This is Kit's music, like an old retro drum machine <laughs> and like a bass synth. Then, oh, <laughs> nice. But um, yeah, this this track was fucking insane. And the interesting thing, it goes straight to the next track, James Joint, which was like weird again because this time there was no drum beat and it was just mm-hmm. like. Jazzy like keys that kind when of sound. When it came in, I was like, "Oh god, a weird song, yeah." That's interesting, original. Good job, Rihanna. Really, really playing it up there. But then I was new album. It's called Anti. If you're American, or Anti. If you're no. on this side in, in of all the caps, pond, because that's now cool to write everything in all caps. Yeah, all caps when you spell the name, you know. Okay, okay. First of all, stop reading my notes. Second of all, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. No, it was quite surprising. I wasn't expecting this at all. What a surprise. A shock. A pleasant shock, no less. The first song was pretty, pretty, when it came in, I was like, what? This was not what I was expecting. It's really, a lot of this album is really minimal and lo-fi. Yes. In a way. Yeah. I was like, it's going to be good, but is it going to be like that interesting? And you know what? I'm so glad we did it because Mm. the first track, um, Considerations, Feet, S Z A. I think it's it's one of the best tracks on here, definitely. Yeah, that's. So it's really heavy, lo-fi beat. Dude, yeah. And it's short and simple and sweet. It doesn't overstay its welcome. Bass and bit crushed beat and just her voice. Her uh, voice was crazy as well. Kind yeah. of went all over the place. Yeah, it was like very ba ba ba. She's like, a good singer. <laughs> ba ba ba. <laughs> what? Get a fucking hat and a job, <laughs> you bum. He doesn't even have a bobble. <laughs> doesn't even have a fucking bobble. Well, fuck. Rihanna. She's got the voice. She did a song with Calvin Harris, no less. She's she's a pop queen, what can I say, you know? 